this is Kyle from We Tech Care of You, and today I'm just going to show you some troubleshooting that you can do on Microsoft Teams if you ever have issues. So, you know, I know recently there's, there's been a lot of outages, um, a lot of people are just getting dropped out of meetings, having a lot of issues with Teams. So these are just four different things that you can do to troubleshoot this. Uh, if you're having issues, go through go through these motions and maybe they might fix your issues. So the first thing that we're going to do whenever something comes in with an issue with Microsoft Teams is I tend to go to downdetector.com.au. Obviously, this is just for Australia. You can change the location where it is. And if you come to Down Detector, this will show you if there's any outages with Office 365 in um, the last 24 hours. And there's just some statistics on this, which might just help. Again, you know, if Teams is down, you can might just see that there's something wrong here and then hopefully that can be resolved and it doesn't require any more troubleshooting from your side. So the next thing that we're going to look at is getting the logs from Teams. Now, the reason I have to get this again is a lot of people are getting dropouts. So you can get these logs from Teams um, and this will show you, you know, all the logs that's been happening as it's running. So what you want to do is depending on if you use Microsoft Teams on the desktop or if you use Teams in the browser, you want to click this sequence and that sequence is hold control alt shift and one and once you click the one as you can see it's just downloaded all of these microsoft diagnostics so these is this is downloading all the diagnostics from my team's environment uh, that's how you do it in the browser if i just open up the desktop version here what you need to do is if you come to the little settings at the top right and click on settings and then you just want to make sure that you've got this selected here. So enable logging for meeting diagnostics, turn that on, restart your teams. And then again, you hold control, alt, shift, and then press one. And uh, as you can see, that's downloaded the file there. So that downloads all the diagnostic logs. You can check those logs. Maybe you can find issues there. Now, the third thing that we're going to try here is we're going to clear the Teams app cache. So what you want to do is you want to sign out of Teams. You want to close it. Uh, so I'm just going to close that down now and you just want to right click and make sure that's closed from the bottom right here as well so you make sure that that desktop version is not open then what you want to do is on your keyboard you want to hold the windows key and you want to press r that'll bring up your little dos command list here and then what you want to paste into this is percentage app data percentage backslash Microsoft Backs Teams. So now if you click OK on that, that'll open up a folder in File Explorer, which it's opened here. And then what you want to do is you literally want to highlight everything in this folder and you want to delete it. So this is deleting everything, all of your cache that's being stored from Teams. So if I just delete all of that now, and we can just let that delete. And some of them might just say that you can't be deleted. Maybe retry, try restarting your computer and deleting it again, else just skip that. Um, yep once that's deleted restart your laptop rerun teams that'll just fill up this folder again all nice and clean that might fix your issue so the final thing we're going to look at is we're just going to run teams in compatibility mode so if you just right click teams and wherever you've got it on the desktop and we just want to go to the properties of your teams now, in the properties, what we want to do is we want to go onto compatibility and then we want to run this program in compatibility mode. Now, when you open this, your latest option will be Windows 8. So if you just run that in selection as Windows 8, click apply, click OK, and then you can run Microsoft Teams. Now, I hope this all helps. Again, this might not fix your issue, but these are just four different things to try if you get any issues with Microsoft Teams. Um, please put some comments if this does help in, in, and you know, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, take care. Thank you very much.